Hello everyone, um, Leroy here. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install Buildcraft and Industrial Craft into your Minecraft client, um, as well as how to uh, install it onto your server, on own home personal personal home server. Sorry, um, and we we do because of our let's play, we get a lot of. Um, questions, a lot of uh, people wanting to know how you install it, so I thought, um, you know, uh, I'll show you today. So, um, I will I will mention now that uh, Buildcraft is not updated to 1.2.4, it's only updated to 1.2.3, therefore uh, it will not work um, on uh, the server, because I'm showing you an updated version of um, industrial craft on a 1.2.4 server. Uh, so I'll show you how to install the old files of Buildcraft, which would be exactly the same as installing the new files, uh, just that you won't be able to play because it's outdated and your server log will come back with errors. So let's get started. Right, firstly, um, I have got some um, links open up here. Um, the first one is Industrial Craft 2, uh, version 1.90 1 um, for single player and multiplayer. And um, down here is you'll see the uh, this, all the stuff for your clients. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see all the stuff um, that you need to run the server. So um, I guess we should just start with the client, make sure that all works. So if you just like to run, open up your run window and type in percent app data percent and run that and then you'll get to your Minecraft folder. I've already done this but if you haven't you need to um, create a, a backup of your .minecraft folder which I have done as you can see here on the desktop. Um, just uh, copy it across onto your desktop or wherever you want and then delete this one here and then run Minecraft and that will uh, create a whole fresh copy so there is nothing that will cause any conflicts at all. Um, so open up your Minecraft uh, folder as you'll see there is nothing in here that um, will cause any conflicts at all. It's completely fresh. So we'll start with um, mod loaders. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's start here. We need um, you, these here, you don't have to install both of these because these are both mod loaders. Um, I prefer just the mod loader here. Um, so just uh, right click, open in a new window, and then scroll down to the bottom. And sorry, I don't have time to wait for an AdFly link, um, so I will just be downloading that directly. <coughs> and then once that is done, you can close that, and you'll see. You have mod loader, and then obviously if you want to, uh, if you want to see where your, um, I don't know where anyone, where everyone installs their uh, stuff to, downloads their stuff to, mine is just Leroy downloads, and there it is. So then, once that's done, you need to download. I think SDKs is outdated for 1.2.4 uh, for the client. I'm not sure, but I'll just go for mod loader multiplayer anyways. This mod loader um, MP is multiplayer, but that does not go into your server. That goes into your Minecraft client folder um, that allows you to play mods in multiplayer. So, actually I should have opened that. All right, um, for the client, I want to download that. And they bring me to <laughs> AdFly, damn. So, <coughs> wait for that skip the ad, let it download, and then go back. We'll come back and we'll we'll do that when we're running the server for now. Uh, we're just going to skip that for now. The next thing you need is MC Forge. So, you just want to right click, open a new, new link. <coughs> now, you want the latest build, always the latest build, up at the top here, permalinks, click on that. Go down to your client. There is server which you'll need, but a later stage. So click on your client and then download that file. 
and there we are. So then we can close all of that and that is all you need uh, for your, um, oh sorry, no, I actually think you need that as well, <laughs> sorry. Just uh, download that, download file, type in whatever it is they ask you to type in. I don't think it's case sensitive, so. And then it will give you a warning. Don't worry, it is clean. Just uh, keep it. And there we are. Done. Minimize that. Go into your um, downloads folder, which is right here. And you'll see all the stuff that has just been downloaded. Right, then what we need to do is, you need to go into your .minecraft folder. Let's actually just open these to the side like that. You want to go into your bin folder. You want to go into your mine. You want to click on that. You want to right click. Open up with um, WinRAR or whatever, your, whatever you decide to use. Um, just open as an archive. That's pretty self-explanatory. Before we move on, Please, please delete the meta INF. Um, I can't stress that enough. Just delete. Don't need it. When we come to the server later on, you need to keep it. But for your client, you always delete the meta INF. Right. So uh, click that to the side. Now we need to um, go in an order. And yes, the order needs to be kept. It's your mod loader, mod loader MP then MC Forge. It's not like any order you want, it's this order. It, it mentions here um, prerequisite mods in listed order. Um, I have tested it actually doing MC Forge first and it gave me an error saying I need to install MC Forge. Um, so do it in this order. Or just um, do as I do in the video. Right, so we're going to start with mod loader. You want to right click it and you want to extract the files so that you can access them and here you can find all your class files. Now, this here is our .minecraft, our bin folder for the Minecraft jar. You want to open this and then drag all of the stuff from the mod loader into there. It'll come up with a window and yes, done. Back there and then you want the mod loader MP 1.2.4 version 1 files, extract files, same as mod loader, open that up and copy that across. It will ask you again and you just go yes. Then you want to do your Minecraft Forge. So right click, extract files once again and where, there it is and all of this. So all of this needs to be copied, not just the class files, the Forge and the net all have to be copied. So control A, select all of them, drag them across. It will ask you once again if you want to copy the files to the archive and yes. Right, done. You can close that. You can close that. Keep this open just in case something goes wrong and you need to access it because this doesn't make a difference to the game. So just open up Minecraft. I'm not sure how this would run because um, I'm recording with uh, thingy uh, with Camtasia so it might lag a little bit. I do apologize if it does do that but let's just go to single player, create a new world, leave it at that, whatever, creative just so you can get the... oh actually I do believe I have forgotten something alright just uh, just then um, just create the new world for now uh, I'll show you what I've done wrong <coughs> excuse me all right, we are there. So sorry, just save and quit. Quit the game. All right. Now, what I have done wrong is you need to go into here your mods. It's, it, when you have a mod loader um, installed, it will automatically create this mods uh, folder. If it doesn't, you need to create this yourself, and it's all lowercase m o d s exactly like that. So, just like that, create that. If it doesn't do it automatically for you, go into there, go into your downloads, and you need to take this, the client, the um, jar folder file, and stick it in there into your mods folder, mods, and industrial craft. Then you can, can go back, 
and you can close that and I'll watch it and if you get any black screens or any, or anything then you know that you haven't deleted um, the meta.inf folder um, which is important if this takes a while to come to the splash screen leave it, it will work it just takes a while for the mod to install itself into your game single player, go into a newly created world and here we are So, ooh, it is lagging a bit, I do apologise right if you open this up you should see all of your different sort of machines, oars, fences, glass everything is new in here uh, electric wrench, all of this, nano suits so there we are, mod is successfully installed save and quit, and just close that down now that is our industrial craft installed but what we're going to do now is um, we, I'm actually going to show you how to install a build craft as well and um, even though it's not updated please do not use the old folders because they will not work but I'm showing you um, with the old ones just so you know when the new ones come out this is what I need to do so if you're going to go downloads again alright so you need to go into minecraft stuff alright or oh, sorry mine is called minecraft stuff go into and you'll find all of these I will put a, a, a download link uh, not direct obviously because that's copyright um, all of this here I'll show you at some point how to install um, how to download the these but these are the outdated versions of buildcraft so what you need to do is you need to copy these files just copy all of those and then take them up into your minecraft folder into your mods and just paste them here and they'll work as long as you have the mod loaders installed obviously but um, this stuff here is obviously all outdated so don't use it obviously the link I put in the description don't use that um, as of yet wait for the new release